This is my single player mega wow. build. And this is my mega build on my server. Whoa. What do they both have in common? They take a lot of time to make. And during that time, it's very easy to accidentally lose focus and motivation. So to help you and myself, I've gathered five tips that can prove useful in managing your mega builds. So for tip number one, have a set goal for the project and don't get distracted. What I mean by don't get distracted is that you shouldn't have a million other projects because as soon as this project becomes uncomfortable, you will instantly go on those other projects instead of the big one that you really want to finish. And try to remind yourself of the goal you've set for yourself. How will this build look when it's finished? It can really help to reflect and think back on why you want to do a project. So for tip number two, if your project is monotonous and starting to get boring, you can spruce it up with audiobooks or have Netflix or YouTube on your second monitor or phone. This might be a little bit of a silly tip, but I've found that it makes me fly through the projects. Or you could make a change in your plans. Maybe add a small extra detail to your build as sort of a break from the monotonous tasks. And while I'm at it, I might as well give you some info of my mega build. So my single player build is 120 blocks in length from opposite corners. Meanwhile, my server build is 320 blocks in length. That is almost three times as big. Which leads me on to the third tip. It's okay to take breaks. Don't burn yourself out on a project just because you want it to be finished. Because if you start thinking of it as a chore, you're just gonna stress yourself out. And that's no good. No one wants that. Take some time on another project and come back with a fresh mind. Tip number four will help keep you sane. Because if you make smaller goals within a reasonable amount of time, it doesn't feel like as much work. For example, you can say, this session, I'm only going to mine out this area or build this part of the base. Now, this is the most important tip. Number five is to not miss a measurement. You have to double and triple check that all your measurements are right. You do not want to finish your project and then notice everything is off by one block. This can be a huge motivation case. So preventing it as soon as possible is the best things to do. And yeah, that's about it. Oh my god, it's snowing outside. I hope you found this video somewhat helpful. This is the first time I'm trying this kind of content. So let me know how I did in the comments. But I also want to leave you guys with a bit of a cinematic of my holes. Thank you.